Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm here for another F1 2020 My Team video. And yes, here we are here for the Bahrain Grand Prix. I would say my fourth favourite Grand Prix on the entire calendar. But going straight into activities, I was looking towards a couple of things, but I did end up going with reaction training. Now, I only have around 800k, so I was looking towards, well, what money could I spend, but it's at least 2 million needed, so I was nowhere close to the money that I need. Now, vehicle performance, we are above Alpha Tauri. We've got decent power, but it's not where I would want it to be. Of course, we've got the major drag reduction upgrade coming for, I believe, Vietnam or China, but we have no upgrades. We can't do any in the chassis department. But in the end, I do go and get a power upgrade because I do want to push our power a little bit forward, get a bit closer to Renault and McLaren. Now, in the, on the corporate side, we have a new secondary sponsor we can get. So I was looking through them and really I was thinking, well, 10 constructors points during a race weekend would be a little bit tough as we did, couldn't even get within the top 10. So that would be a little bit too tough now. Complete, you know, achieve fastest lap, complete a total of 50 laps during practice. There was a lot of different things and I was thinking, well, I'm not going to be able to do this. So qualify P in P15 or better now. I was looking towards PSD, answered at least four interview questions during a race, uh, race weekend, and I was thinking, well, I could go with that. And I was sort of thinking, well, which one should I go for? It does give me a bonus of 48.8k, but I looked towards Polar, which you need to complete a total of 10 laps. And I carried on looking around, just thinking, well, what could I go for? Now, scrolling down a little bit, I was thinking possibly polar but I scrolled down a bit further and of course I found Zynetto um, one of my favorite sponsors but it's two interview questions during a race weekend for 117k but it's 78k weekly but I was thinking well it's only 70 days in length so that will last around four about five six race weekends so I was like well not enough so I did end up going with PSD for my for my secondary sponsor on the car and I did change my car a little bit and uh, I put the sponsors about but here we are for the Bahrain Grand Prix so let's get straight into it Here we are for the first qualifying session here at Bahrain and we have a mechanical issue so I'm just going to skip this mechanical issue and when we come back of course we're going to go straight onto the softs but I do want to have a look at of course the car setup, my custom car setup as well. I will be explaining in a later video of what setups I have across each and every track in another video. But heading out onto our first flying lap, already on the lap, coming around this long right hander lockup, I just, I just really don't feel comfortable in the car. Just it locked up so much over each and every lap. I d really still in this race, I just did not know how far to break. I'm not using ABS anymore, so I'm not using any assists now. And this is the first qualifying and the first race, which I've done. But here on lap two, I, I'm nine tenths quicker. At the moment, I am last. I lock up again on the final corner, lose some time. Lots of oversteer. Coming up to the line, DRS. Let's see what we can do. And it's only going to be good enough to come in front of Joe Venazzi. Grosjean and Magnussen but behind Latifi and Hubert but here we are on again lap three two and a half tenths up and like, is this going to be enough to beat uh, Latifi and Hubert again oversteer on the exit a little bit slow you see I lost about half a tenth there but coming across the line it's only going to be P16 still behind my teammate Antoine Hubert now 
towards the end of qualifying here's my final run i came through turn four and i just locked up and just spun which was a little bit stupid for me to do it's such a simple corner but at the end of qualifying lewis hamilton on pole valtteri bottas second and max verstappen third but there's a massive three tenths defining first to second and first to third says so there's a big gap but Alex Albon fourth place I can't lie he didn't do too bad but seven tenths behind Lewis Hamilton and four tenths behind his teammate which is a long way but you can see me I still finished just behind my teammate Hubert um but it is P16 P uh 15 for epic racing in this qualifying session this really showed a bit more pace from us as well we showed a bit more pace but Grosjean's last with Antonio Giovinazzi in 21st and Kevin Magnussen in 20th Latifi by far amazed me really he does just he's amazed me in this qualifying because he's finished p17 in front of so many other drivers so I have to say he definitely does get probably best qualifier of this race weekend but I can't believe that all of that happened you know Kimi Raikkonen 18th but bit of support in Lando Norris only 12th which isn't too great but both Alpha Tauri's in front of us but I can't wait wait for the race so let's head on to the Bahrain Grand Prix The stage is set for another enthralling race here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. It could be a strategic race this one, with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Sainz, Charles Leclerc and Ricardo, Perez, Ocon, Vettel and Lance Stroll, Norris, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat and Albon, Hubert, Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi and Kimi Raikkonen, Russell, Magnussen, Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Here we are for the second race of the season here at Bahrain. Now, I was really wondering what strategy should I go for, you know, 14 laps, soft to medium. I was maybe wondering soft to hard, possibly go a bit longer on the hards. But I did end up going with the softs because that strategy did seem to work. But going quite low on fuel, a little bit lower than I usually would. Only an extra lap of fuel. But let's begin the Bahrain Grand Prix. Here we go. Oh, getting close to five red lights. Holding down the clutch. I have to have a good start. Okay. Okay. Actually, I, I have a really good start off of the line. That was really good for me. Hubert, I'm fighting with Hubert. Russell's up to P18. Massive dive. Oh, my God. That's one of the biggest dives. Massive lockup as well. I just didn't want to get damaged. But there's a little bit of front wing flew off. I think it could have been the Ferrari. It looked a bit red. I'm not too sure. Possibly another car in front. Possibly a Mercedes. But here we go. Oh, I'm going for another dive on Daniel Kivat and Lance Stroll. But this time still can't pull it off lock up again just trying to avoid that wing damage which i could get again another lock up not feeling comfortable on the brakes just i seem to just really struggle around Bahrain, especially on the brakes especially in this car i think one of the biggest things i am going to have to upgrade on the car is the brakes but coming down into the hairpin 
I get it pretty nice and I don't actually lock up, but a couple of other cards lock up in front of me. But I am in front of Hubert, who's already three tenths off, but we're up to P13 off of lap one. Not too bad, three positions up, but I did go for the biggest dive I have ever made on F1 2020. But coming through, still keeping some good speed, but I am struggling a little bit. I could already feel like the softs were already going off on lap one, which was really weird for me because I'm not used to that. But coming towards the end of lap one, you see here, using overtake up to the line, it was actually Sebastian Vettel who went into the pits. So it was one of the Ferraris, I was right. But now up in P12, here we are on lap three. Still trying to hold on. Oh, I got a little bit wide there. Track limits. But luckily, I just get away with it. I am on strict uh, corner cutting, so I just get away with it. But lots of oversteer there. Again, getting away with that as well. But I'm just holding on for dear life here. F just, just to hold on to a chance of points. But going into the corner, there's yellow flags behind. Um, it looks like it's one of the Alfa Romeos. So I think... It Possibly. I'm not too sure who it actually is. We'll just have to wait. Let's just see who it is. I'm not sure. I think... I think it could possibly be one of the Alphas, but possibly Ferrari. I'm not too sure. I think... It's Kimi Raikkonen. He's out of the race and it is a safety car. Let's head in this lap for the safety car. Wow, we're going to pit this lap, go on to the mediums and just try and pull out the pace across the rest of the race. I knew it couldn't have been the Ferrari because it just seems a bit too far back, but it seemed a bit too close, sorry. But going into the pits, let's try and make sure we get a good pit stop. A lot of cars are double stacking, you can see Ferrari, you see McLaren's are double stacking, Renault's are double stacking, Racing Points are also double stacking, but could I have a good pit stop? I need about two seconds on the pit stop. I'm almost perfect on two seconds, but 2.1 seconds, not bad, but I have come out. P8, am I going to come out in front of Sebastian Vettel? He's coming quite quickly. Could I get out of the pits in front of him? Yes, I have. I just got so much wheel spin, but oh, loop, oof, locking up a bit. I was just so eager to just, just get out in front of Vessel. Just, oh my God, that was the biggest lock up I've ever had. Just going into a corner, just trying to get ahead of a car. But Vettel behind me now, but of course Vettel is in a faster car than me, so I'm not going to have a great chance at this, but I'm just going to have to push. But safety car is coming in. Oh, could I get the jump on Sainz? Possibly get past Kivat as well into Turn 1. Just trying to hold the pace, just trying to stay close. But I'm hanging a bit back because sometimes the AI break just mid-corner. So I'm trying to give a little bit more extra space. You see, like, just, just here, I go to accelerate. Thought the safety car was going in. But here we go. We're going now. Full speed using overtake. I'm catching up to Sainz. Here we go. Can I make the overtake on the straight? I don't think I will on lap six but whoa okay i've gone for an absolutely massive dive little lock up on the front tires again nearly hitting into perez but i've held on and kivat is still trying to get past for the position and kivat's going for it i've used a bit of a overtake i'm trying to save now am i going to get the cut back okay i'm swinging to the try to get him on the inside bit of oversteer getting a little bit of dirty air yeah i lost out that position pretty quickly bit of a foolish oh science has gotten past as well oh my god i'm just being overtaken by everybody but now i have a ferrari behind me although they're not as quick oh my god locking up i'm just oh my god i'm feeling so much pressure from at the time i was feeling so much pressure just from this point on i was just like i need to stay in front i just lost two massive positions but I need to, I really knew, need to hold on. If I can score even just one point, that'll be absolutely everything in my team. That could change the whole season. But still, just just holding on for dear life again. Uh, this is my points position. This could be a points position at the end of the race. But you can see Vettel's quite close on me here on lap six. He stayed quite close. He stayed within a half a second of me at all times. But I do get pretty good traction. But he's still very close. But one of the Mercedes is in. It's Lewis Hamilton is into the pit. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize Lewis Hamilton hadn't pit. Oh, 
I thought he had pit, but oh my god, Vettel just made that dive so clear on the brakes. Just, I, I have no chance of beating Vettel, but I'm back down to P8 though. Um, but you see, I'm catching Vettel. I thought possibly a chance. Is it going to be a chance? No, just just no chance. You see, Vettel, look at him. He's already he's already made half a second. Uh, going wide again just I don't have the right amount of pace to face up to these guys in faster cars and especially with Ocon behind me but also Verstappen in P10 I don't have the greatest chance here of actually being able to hold on to points I just need to try and hold on to 10th but oh Ocon getting a little bit close looks like there was a little bit of contact there between me and Ocon but still holding on for just just holding on to what I can but again Ocon's later on the brakes, he's got better brakes, I have better power but he's got better aero, he's got better chassis and he's also got better brakes like I said, he is just got that extra pace but Ocon's gotten past, whoa I've just gone round the outside of Esteban Ocon but I'm using lots of overtake to get in front, I want to stay in front. But, of course, he's going to have DRS now. So, am I going to be able to hold him up? Going into the braking zone. My God, Ocon, so brave on the brakes. But I'm going to take the inside line for turn two. And I have pushed out Esteban Ocon. It's just very tough, this race. Just struggling for tyre wear. And Ocon's going for another move. Verstappen's also trying to make a move on Ocon as well. But I've made a bit of a distance by cutting off Ocon a little bit. I didn't mean to cut off Ocon but Verstappen has passed Esteban Ocon no I think they're side by side but there is green flags there looks like to be a yellow flag yes there are yellow flags behind oh uh, which car is it I'm not too sure which car it actually is but you can see Ocon really trying to hold his best that he can he's just trying to hold on it looks like it's Alex Albon he is out of the race the man who did so well in qualifying is out. Oh, that isn't good for Red Bull. They're not on for big points. And they've just lost one of their drivers. But Albon wasn't really doing too well. But here comes Verstappen here on lap nine. Verstappen, he's... Oh, just look at that. He's just so confident on the brakes. I lock up and nearly hit into him. That was, that was incredibly close. But getting over steer, you see, pretty much... I know that there's that just there was no chance of beating Verstappen, not at this point. Um, but here comes Ocon as well. I'm just tr pushing all I can, but Ocon's going to try and make the move. Oh, okay. I've gone a bit wider. Oh, a little bit of contact between me and Ocon. That was Ocon's fault. He did sort of drive into me, but yeah, I've, I've lost going over quite a lot. Again, just escaping from getting a warning, but you can see just already losing. But here comes Stroll. Everybody's getting past me now. But here comes Stroll for P10. Can I make the same switch back move? And I am. I'm going to get past him again. But here we are on lap nine still, but still trying to just hold on. Ocon, I'm, okay, I'm closing up to Ocon quite a lot. Look at the speed. Am I going to go for a dive? No. That, I think that was the right move. Just, I don't want to go too risky on the brakes. Lap 10, it's it's late in the race. It's not like it's lap 1 where I have time to catch back up. But here I'm going to go. Am I going to go for a move? Ooh, looking for possibly the outside move, but... Still holding on to P10, Stroll behind. Stroll is quick, but Russell is in P12. I've just realised that. Russell P12. How has Russell done that? Oh, my God. George Russell is the luckiest man alive. Honestly, he's done so well to get into P12. I have to give it to him. But just I'm just holding up Stroll. But here we are again, here on lap 11. Stroll, DRS, you see, I'm using some overtakes trying to stay ahead all I can. Ocon, you see, he's like two and a half seconds ahead now. I've got no chance of catching up to Ocon. But Stroll is all over the back of me. He's right on my gearbox. I have no chance of holding him up. But I just hope, nope, Stroll is just going to go straight past me so easily. Am I going to go for the dive, though? Yes, I am. I'm going for the dive. Nope, I'm way too far back for that. Actually, I had a pretty good exit. Whoa! Stroll getting very, uh, a very sort of uh, loose rear end. But here I go. I'm going for a massive dive. Oh my 
my god. That's the most audacious dive I have ever done. Ever. Oh my god. But Stroll is again walking away. But now I've got George Russell behind me and Antonio Giovinazzi. Although I am actually putting in faster laps than them. But I just don't have the pace. I'm just losing time. But am I going to be able just to hold on to P11? Or am I going to be beaten by George Russell in a Williams? Will I or won't I? I'm not too sure. You can just see Stroll 1.3 seconds ahead. I just don't have the pace over Stroll. But hopefully I can break ahead. But Valtteri Bottas wins the Bahrain Grand Prix pretty good it looks like Valtteri Bottas will take the championship lead as well from Hamilton who looks like he's still outside of the points but am I going to just be able to hold on to P11 will George Russell go for a late dive using what overtake I have left I'm not going to catch up to Stroll of course but can I hold George Russell behind yes I am and that will be P11 in the Bahrain Grand Prix. So close to setting a new personal best. But P11, come on. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. After an absolute crazy Grand Prix, by far the craziest Grand Prix I've ever had. I've never seen Alex Albon DNF, and it was shocking to see Kimi Räikkönen DNF, because I really haven't, but, you know, Charles Leclerc second, but the Renault of Daniel Ricciardo was third, but Max Verstappen finished only eighth place in the race. Um, my teammate, 18th, we did get double stacked, which wasn't his fault, but... Alex Albon out of the race, of course, Kimi Räikkönen also out of the race. Latifi went from 17th to last. I thought he could do much better than that. I thought he could. But I have to say, my driver of the day has to be, I think, George Russell. He has to be my driver of the day, by far. But Lewis Hamilton, 16th. He's gone from pole to 16th. But George Russell, he was just... He was just crazy. Also, Antonio Giovinazzi, both absolutely crazy drivers. They did so well. It was just so sad. I couldn't score points and just do even better. But it was so close. But Lando Norris, 11th to 14th. Norris not having a good day at Bahrain compared to many other times. But very close. And uh, I have to say, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I, I think that was actually a very good race and a very good... But looking in the standings, uh, I'm I'm now... I'm at the top of the point of the non-point scorers in 14th. But Bottas does take the lead of the championship by 25 points. Sainz uh, moves up to second. With Charles Leclerc third and Lewis Hamilton's down to fourth place. Hamilton's going to really have to fight back. But in the constructors, again, we're at the top of the non-point scorers in eighth. Um, Mercedes still leading. Ferrari have been moved up to second, but Red Bull down in fourth. Um, very tough weekend for a couple of teams and quite good for others. And Williams is eight, is uh, what, ninth. Pretty good for Williams. So let's head back to the base. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please think about leaving a thumb up, thumbs up on this video. Please like and also subscribe. Let's try and reach, of course, the massive amount of possibly 50 subscribers by the end of April. If we could, that would absolutely 
be amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. And please think about also clicking on the notification bell to see when my next video is out of my team or any other videos. But that's the end of the video. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.